Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about ring mod sidechain modulation. I want to explain to you what it is and how you can do it in Bitwig Studio because I get this question probably once a month. Hey Polarity, did you see actually this method of sidechaining the bass with the kick drum? And I say, yeah, but it's actually not that great idea because you introduce a lot of um, distortion here and there. So maybe don't do it, just use the um, audio sidechain modulator of Bitwig Studio. But people are really obsessed with, you know, precisely cutting out the kick drum out of the bass channel for some reason. I guess it's it's modern production values. So back in the days, you used actually overlapping sounds to glue them together. Today, it's all about, you know, you have the kick drum, then you have a cut, then you have the bass sound, then you have a cut, then you have a lead sound, and then you cut everything together. So uh, for some reason, this is, you know, something people want to do. And I want to show you how you can do it in Bitwig Studio. So I think it all started here on YouTube with this kind of video here from uh, by Boraska. And he used the kick drum and then uh, negatively rectified this kick drum signal and then used it in uh, ring mod VST to cut out the bass where the kick drum is, right? And you can see even here on this um, on his video that you have some leaking audio bits from the bass. This is the distortion because you ring modulate the kick drum or the bass sound with the kick drum, right? And the kick drum has a different frequency sometimes. There's a pitch mod in there. In the beginning, you have a higher pitch and then you pitch down. And you can see you have a lot of leaked signals in there, right? Um, uh, at a certain point, you also tilt the sounds, did something in, uh, in Bitwig here at a certain point, and I commented on it because he wanted also to precisely cut out the bass here. I link to this video in the description below. Uh, then Boraska here also made his own plugin. I think um, it looks like this simple RMSC plugin. So you have a sidechain, right? And then you use the sidechain on the base. And he even created here some kind of release time to smooth out the signal, right? Which makes it actually an envelope follower. So, in my opinion, people try to reinvent audio sidechain or an envelope follower with this. So in the beginning, there are some clicks and pops here, or let's say some uh, distortion. It sounds really like distortion when you have a certain combination of sounds here. That's also a problem. The distortion depends on how different the frequency or the kick, the frequency of the kick drum in the bass is and the more or less um, leaked signals you have then in the end of the bass channel, right? So it's not consistent even that. Um, so this is then this plugin with release times here, which makes it actually an envelope follower or just a, a normal um, ducking, yeah, ducking sidechain plugin. Okay, so in Bitwig Studio here, I have just a normal track and I have here a bass sound and I have a kick drum sound, right? And this is how it sounds. And you can see at the top here, this is my bass channel and this is my kick drum channel, right? And on the bass channel, all I need to do to actually recreate this in Bitwig Studio, it's very simple in Bitwig. You just create a tool device here. And then on this tool device, you create an audio rate modulator. The audio rate modulator just takes in the audio signal and converts it into a modulation signal. And the audio rate modulator here has an sidechain input. So we can take here from the drums just the output of the kick drum, right? So now we have the kick drum audio signal in here. You can see this. And then we check the mid channel because we want to have just the, the mono part of this kick drum. It's probably completely mono. Yeah, the side channel here doesn't give you anything. So we have the mono signal then of the kick drum, then we can rectify it, right? Rectifying means just to take all the negative values here and put it into the positive range. Just wrap uh, the negative part up to the positive part, right? That's all you need to do. And then you just take this output here and modulate the volume down to minus one, maybe. That's all you need to do in Bitwig. And 
you basically recreate now ring mode sidechain modulation, at least how they explain it in their videos. And you can see now here that we reduced at the part where the kick drum is um, the bass. Uh, but you also can see that we leak here certain frequencies, right? This is what I mean here. This gives you some uh, distortion uh, because the frequency of the kick drum and the bass is not completely the same, or at, at, at least in parts. Um, to make this completely clean, you need to have the same frequency and you also need to phase align um, the kick drum with the bass so the, you know, the positive parts overlap or cancel out um, the negative parts of the bass and so on. Um, so this is the idea. But in certain cases, it, it's completely fine if you have a lot of, you know, the, the distorted kind of sound and it's maybe not that prominent. I can show you how it sounds. So this is without, you can see there is no ducking and now when I switch this on here, it cuts the bass away. So this is the, the very simple way of doing this in Bitwig Studio, just an audio rate modulator rectifying the signal and then modulating the volume down and this is the, the ring mod part basically here. So in Bitwig Studio this is very very simple, okay. So now, now the idea is how can I smooth this out, right? How I can get rid of these um, in-between parts here. And like I said here in this video, he introduced a release thing, which is just smoothing the signal. I guess it's probably a low pass, something like this. So we can also do this here in this um, audio rate modulator. So we can just pull this down and get rid of some uh, top frequencies of the kick drum and then smooth this uh, smooth this here a bit, bit out. You can see it's more clean. All right. So we get, yeah, get similar things. But you can see here there's also um, some overlap, overlapping parts. I guess it's because of the, um, um, the smoothing now. Yeah, it's because you smooth this out, right? The, the, the low frequencies are a bit too too late here. So you have this all the way up to actually make it very clean, a clean cut here. So that's the problem, right? But in my opinion, um, you can just use the audio sidechain, probably. Let me remove this here. Because the audio sidechain is... Uh, oh, that's the, that's the wrong one, sorry. Audio sidechain. So the audio sidechain gives you here also a bandpass filter. And when you pull down the rise to zero and the fall to zero, it's almost the same thing. It's, it's almost also audio rate modulation, right? And then you have the fall time to smooth the signal out. And the more you smooth it out, the more it becomes smooth, but you also lose uh, timing, right? So let me put this down here. Um, sidechain is drums, it'll be kick post, okay. So you can see here the audio sidechain is also pretty spot on, right? And then you make it a bit smoother, and then it becomes clean here. So in my opinion, this is the better option, um, but you know, People will see it in videos, they see it from big artists doing this, and then I want to clone it in Bitwig Studio. So that's how it is. So you can just use also your audio rate modulation. Um, so these are the simple options. We can also make this a bit more complex. So let's say we use an FX grid in here. Let's open this up. Maybe I make this here a bit smaller for the moment. So in here we have now base in, base out, right? That's that's how it is. And then we can use here a sidechain input and then just bring in the kick. 
So now we have here the kick drum and I would say just use here in there also an envelope follower, which gives you also already a rectified signal. Um, put this here on slow. And when we bring this down, you also get here an audio rate signal. So you can see here all the different up and downs of the signal of the kick drum. So it's pretty much audio rate modulation if you pull this down here all the way and then you can smooth it out, right? So what we can do then is we can uh, slow this down here and maybe use this as a trigger. Right. Use pitch, is it possible? Yeah, you can see the kick drum here, right? Okay, so with this, we can go into a transfer curve and then just reset this here and maybe set the transfer curve to uh, unipolar. Looks like this, we go in here and then use a second oscilloscope here. So with this now we can completely kind of invert this, something like this. Do something like this and then maybe smooth it out. And we get a nice signal then here, here's zero. And to multiply this with the audio signal here. Let's see how this sounds. Um, So um, with the audio follower here, or with the audio, yeah, with the, the follower module, you can kind of smooth out the signal. And with the transfer curve, you can um, bring a stand to a very narrow kind of cut if you want to, right? So you com can completely cut out here certain things. You can cut out pretty early. Um, as soon as you get a signal here, you uh, force it to zero. And you can see here, you can completely precisely, completely cut out the signal. So this is very, very clean in my opinion. Look at this here, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's super clean. And with the transfer curve, you can then amplify the signal or like I said, as soon as you get here a minimal value, you pull down the zero and then pull down the volume of the bass. And with the fall time here, you can smoothly go from audio rate modulation, which gives you these clicks and pops to slightly smooth it out and have an envelope follow here and make everything clean, right? So this is a very clean solution. You don't even need here the oscilloscope. Right, that's all you need. So sidechain here from the kick drum, bass comes in, bass then is multiplied here with the signal and you have all the control here with the smoothing and the transfer curve. So in my opinion, um, that's a very clean and simple solution. I put you the preset here in the description below and the audio rate modulation sidechain, in my opinion, is the easiest way is here just to use a tool device and then uh, use an audio rate modulator. Audio rate, pull the kick drum in, pull this down, rectify, use the mid channel and then negatively apply here the modulation amount. So this is how I would do it. 
So this is the ring mode sidechain modulation. This is a more fancier version here of this. And you have more options there, okay? So both presets are in the description below. I hope I could help you. And this is also a video for the future when people ask me this, hey, Polarity, did you see actually this ring modulation uh, sidechain video? Then I can point at this video and you can replicate it, okay? Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Uh, have fun.